sports today evolves around two sports, no disrespect to the other sports, but basketball and football are the most popular right now. Some basketball players started off playing football, and some football players started off playing basketball growing up. Some even played both throughout high school and college. If this relates to you, we all wish that we could live the best of both worlds. But there is one person who actually got to play both at the highest level. The highest level being the NBA and NFL. In the past few years, we've seen a few players try to make a transition from basketball to football. We've seen Nate Robinson make an attempt to the NFL after his career in the NBA. Also, Rico Gathers, who played basketball for Baylor University, make his way to the NFL and currently plays tight end for the Dallas Cowboys. So who exactly is this guy that went all the way and played both in the NFL and NBA? Well, this guy was Bud Grant. Bud Grant was a three-sport athlete in high school, those sports being basketball, football, and baseball all four years. Now, once he graduated, he enlisted in the Navy in which he was assigned to the Lakes Naval Training Station in Illinois and played on the football team while there. He discharged from the Navy using an acceptance letter from the University of Wisconsin-Madison, but instead he decided to attend the University of Minnesota. There he also played three sports and received all Big Ten Conference honors in football twice. There's not much information on his stats to back up what he did in all sports, but they were good enough to get him selected in both the 1950 NBA and NFL draft. He was selected by the Philadelphia Eagles in the first round, 14th overall, and 42nd overall in the fourth round of the NBA draft by the Minneapolis Lakers. A hard decision to make, he chose to play basketball and stay with the Lakers because it was local and offered him a nice pay raise. Also, his close friend Sid Harmon was the Lakers general manager at the time and that influenced his decision even more. His career wasn't the best in the NBA, although he won a championship. He only averaged 2.6 points per game and closed out his professional basketball career just after two seasons. He wasn't just done yet with sports. At the end of the NBA season, he contacted the Philadelphia Eagles, the team that drafted him, to get back on the field. In his first season with them, he played as a defensive end and led the team in sacks. In his second season, he decided to switch to wide receiver in which he ranked second in receiving yardage with 997 yards on 56 catches and seven touchdowns. I just like this. Now here's where his career took a slight downfall. At the end of the 1952 NFL season, the Eagles refused to pay him what he thought he was worth, ending his NFL career. And we won't get into crazy detail about what he really did after this, but he did join the Canadian Football League, where he was an all-star three times. He then became a coach for the team he played for in the Canadian League, the Winnipeg Bombers, and back to the NFL where he coached for the Minnesota Vikings. Now let's just say to sum it up, he retired from sports an NBA champion, an NFL champion, three-time NFC champion, CFL coach of the year, NFL coach of the year, and the eighth most successful coach in football of all time. This right here defines a legend. To win championships in both major sports, he definitely was a winner and legend in all of it. I think this could possibly happen again as we are witnessing the greatest athletes with their athleticism in this sports generation today. Now just imagine if LeBron called basketball and quits and decided to join the NFL, I mean what team wouldn't want to take him? That's all I got for today's video. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all being great. Germ is out.